Anatomy. That's where I'm broad, broadcasting from this morning for the um, daily guided meditation for grounding, protecting, and centering. And today we're going to be doing some drumming after we do the meditation. So we'll be drumming prayers. So if you're joining for that, make sure you have your drum nearby so you can just grab it or maybe go get it right now because it doesn't matter what kind of drum you have. You can have any kind of drum and drum a prayer. So um, hopefully you'll be able to join us for that as well. So good morning. It is a beautiful sunny morning here, but cold. For May, it's cold. We didn't get any snow, but let me tell you, it's cold. it was cold enough to snow. I think we're at 30 degrees right now. Otherwise, I'd be outside <laughs> on the deck doing the meditation. But, it's man, it's cold out there. Beautiful. Sunny, um, you know, when you look out, it looks like a sunny spring day. You want to get out there and and no jacket and that kind of stuff. But my goodness, <laughs> it's 30 degrees. So before we go much further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send our live stream over to my news feed so that my friends uh, remember that we're doing the meditation this morning. And I would invite you to do the same. Um, whether it's to your news feed or uh, maybe it's to one friend that you think would benefit from the meditation, okay? So <clears throat> I'm using my phone, finding our live stream. I know we're here. Oh, there we are. Okay, good. I'm liking and I'm sending it over to my newsfeed. Just to remind my friends, right, that it's meditation time. Because I know what it's like. You get started on something and you lose track of time and... Before you know it, it's like, dang it, I was going to do that this morning. So, friends, it's meditation time. And then please join for a oops, guided meditation. There we go. Going to do that. I hear a truck. Georgie's on his way in. Paul is going to drop him off on his way into town. We um, had the deck back here um, resealed, um, and it looks really good, but we couldn't walk on it for a few days. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been up here. Um, and, so, and so Paul has to put the gate back up um, on the deck so that uh, George has the run from the deck into his play area. And so Paul's going to do that. All right. So you might hear some background noise. Okay. Okay. Now I just need to send this over to a couple of friends. And I see. I'm going to do that. And Carol. And Violet. And Kimberly. And Angie. Bobby. And Cindy. Marie. I'm going to send it over to Christine, too. I don't know if Amy's working or not, but I'm going to send it over to her. And I know Minnie's in, in uh, Missouri. All right. I think we got it. Yep, there we go. Turn down my sound. There we go. And here comes Georgie. Oh, there's Paul first. Thank you. You wouldn't know what I did. <laughs> we're, we're on live stream, Paul. I asked Paul to bring up my, my slip-ons, which are right back there now. I walked out of the house with my, my, my house slippers on. But yeah, you know, I, it was just habit. <laughs> So, okay, let's see who's in the house. Hey, oh, there comes, there's Georgie. Stephanie, good morning, Stephanie. I left the, the sending over to the groups to you. I saw your name pop up. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, by the way. Karen, good morning, Karen. Good to have you here. Lynn's here, too. She's saying cold, and it was snowing here in Massachusetts this morning. Not supposed to be doing that. I know, right? It's like, oh my goodness, I was, um, it, we had a very hard frost. We didn't have any snow, although it, it could have. It was cold enough to snow, for sure, for sure. 
Hey, Deborah's here. Good morning, Deborah. I did get your call. I hope you got my message. Janet's here too. Good morning, Janet. Good to have you here. And okay. I think Paul's leaving. He closed the door, <laughs> which means let me check on George. Okay. It's going to get a little chilly in here because he left the door open. All righty. Well, um, today's Saturday, right? April 9th. I mean, April, May 9th, <laughs> May 9th. Yeah. One of my niece's birthdays. I think she's 40 something, 40, 45, 46, something like that. Doesn't seem possible. All right. So <clears throat> today um, is also drumming for drumming prayers, our own prayers, and also for those who may not have a drum. Um, if you have a, a prayer you'd like us to drum for you, we can certainly do that. Um, and we'll be doing the drumming after the meditation, okay? Because that want to be grounded, centered, and protected when we do our prayers. So um, we'll be doing that after the meditation. Hey, Annie just showed up too. Hello. Won't be able to say, okay. I know she's a busy lady. She runs a campground here in Wisconsin. Weekends are busy for her. And Lisa's good morning. Uh, just uncovered my plants. I bet. I bet. I know there is a lot of people who, who brought their, their um, potted plants in, covered up uh, parts of the plants that they couldn't bring in. It, yeah. we, we do that in the fall, don't we? <laughs> That's so true. Okay. Let's um, get started with the meditation. And for those... For those who might be new or um, new watching the um, recorded version of this, um, um, just a little explanation so you can kind of get your bearings, okay? And that is um, this particular kind of meditation lasts about 12 hours. So in about 12 hours, you'll want to do another round of grounding, centering, and protecting so that you're covered for 24 hours, okay? All right. And... Um, in this, in this meditation, if you're seated in a chair like I am in today, you'll want both feet flat on the floor, your back as straight as possible. So um, if you're sitting on a couch or um, a furniture chair, you might need to scooch toward the edge of it if you're shorter. Um, make sure you're comfortable. Get some pillows behind you. You'll want to have your legs uncrossed and your arms uncrossed. You want to be an open circuit. Okay. All right. Now, if you're sitting on the floor, uh, my suggestion is you sit like a toddler, a small child, how they sit on the floor. They have their legs straight out, you know, like that, because you want your legs uncrossed and your arms are uncrossed so that you too are a open circuit. Um, now, this med meditation takes about 15, 20 minutes. So if you want to lean up against a wall or a piece of furniture to give your back some support, that would be good too. You can lie down, uh, floor, couch, bed, that's okay. You can just, long, as long as you can hear my voice, that's all that really matters. Um, <clears throat> and um, you will um, need to protect your low back if you have a delicate low back, all right? So you need to do that. And um, I have done this particular meditation or parts of it standing, waiting in line or waiting for the water to boil uh, for tea. Um, if you do stand, um, you want to have something nearby so you can steady yourself. Because some people, especially if you close your eyes, some people get uh, dizzy <clears throat> when they close their eyes and stand in like that. So you'll want to be safe, okay? All right. Okay, so getting situated, getting comfortable. All right. And in a moment, I'm going to be asking you to take a big, deep breath in. And on that deep breath, really filling up your lungs from the bottom to the top, okay? Um, and you want to do what's called belly breathing. Um, your, your tummy is going to come out a little bit, and so is your diaphragm, okay? <laughs> I made a joke yesterday about um, if you have something tight on, like jeans or something like that, and you can't get a full breath in, you may have to undo the, the top 
button or something so you can get that that full breath in okay <laughs> Um, and at the top of that breath, you're going to hold it just for a moment. And on the exhale, you're going to really blow it out. Okay. This does a couple things for us. It brings in more oxygen, which means it helps us to relax. Um, and it also brings us uh, to the present moment. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We're going to take a big, deep breath in. Really filling up your lungs. And at the top of that breath, just holding it just for a moment. And then exhaling, really blowing it out. Okay, good. Good, good. I'm going to do it one more time, and I'm going to do it with you this time, okay? All right. So big, deep breath in. Holding it. And exhaling. There you go. Good. Good, good. And we're going to do that one more time. Okay. All right. Here we go. Big, deep breath in. Holding it. And exhaling. There. Oh, that feels good. Mm -hmm. All right, just breathing easy and naturally now. I'm going to be asking you to call your full birth name, first, middle, and last, to the four directions. You can call your name out loud or quietly to yourself. That's up to you. And if you have a married name, you'd like to add that to the end of your birth name, that's fine. If you have a spirit name and rather use that, that's okay too. If you're a walk-in, my suggestion is to call the body's original name. And if you change the name as a walk-in to add your walk-in name, your present name. So you're calling both names, okay? All right. And you're calling your name to the east, south, west, and north. So here we go, calling your name, bringing home aspects of you, back home to you. Calling your name. Good, good. Now in your imagination, imagine gathering those aspects of yourself you just called home to you, right, gathering them. And in your imagination, imagine pulling them or placing them into your heart. So you are as present as you possibly can be in this moment. Good. All right. Now taking in a nice, easy, deep breath in. And on the exhale, turning your attention to a night sky. Turning your attention to Grandfather Sky. Gamisho Mase Nan in Potawatomi. And bringing to you the images that you just love and appreciate about Grandfather Sky.
remembering what it feels like to stand and gaze up at the stars and how it feels. When you're looking at a full moon, what it feels like when you're standing in sunlight blue skies watching big white puffy clouds moving across the sky listening to thunder watching lightning when you see a rainbow or double rainbows When you see pictures or think about the planets, when you turn your attention to the Creator. God, Goddess. the great mystery, the prime creator, the central sun. Noticing how much you love Grandfather Sky. And telling Grandfather Sky how that you love him. Grandfather Sky, I love you. Grandfather, Misho, I love you. I love you. And asking Grandfather Sky to send you love and blessings. Sensing, feeling, seeing the Creator's golden sparkling light coming down to you, flowing to you with love and blessings, flowing down through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, down through your third eye, down through your throat chakra, The Creator's golden sparkling light 
of love and blessings flowing down through your high heart and heart chakra. Flowing down through your solar plexus. And down through your sacral chakra. The creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing down through your root chakra. Down through both your hips and your thighs. Flowing down through your knees and your calves. Down through your ankles. And into your feet. And with your intention, sending the creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings down into grandmother earth all the way down to her core, down to her heart, connecting you to Grandmother Earth. Sensing, feeling, seeing, the creator's golden sparkling light of love and blessings flowing down through you with a gentle spiral clockwise for women, counterclockwise for men. Flowing down through you, balancing you, centering you, flowing all the way down into Grandmother Earth, down to her heart, grounding you to Grandmother Earth. taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, turning your attention to Grandmother Earth. Kokomis Kikan in Potawatomi. Our Grandmother Earth. And bringing to you all those images that you just love and appreciate about Grandmother Earth. All things green. The tree people. The stone people. All bodies of water. The wind. Nature spirits, the devas and the elementals. Those who fly, the
those who swim. Those who crawl. The four-legged. And the two-legged. Those would be your children, your grandchildren, nieces and nephews, parents and grandparents. aunties and uncles, dear friends, your beloved, and your furry family members, your pets. All of Grandmother Earth's children. Noticing how much you love her. and telling Grandmother Earth that you love her. Grandmother Earth, I love you. Grandmother, no miss. I love you. I love you. And asking Grandmother Earth to send you her love and blessings, sensing, feeling, seeing. Grandmother Earth's love and blessings coming to you as a green sparkling light flowing up through the bottom of your feet. Flowing up through your ankles and your calves flowing up through your knees and your thighs. Flowing up to both your hips Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your root chakra. And up through your sacral chakra. Up through your solar plexus. Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings flowing up through your heart chakra and your high heart. Up through your throat chakra. Up through your third eye. and up through your crown chakra through the top of your head.
And with your intention, sending Grandmother Earth's green sparkling light of love and blessings all the way up to the sun. To Grandfather Sky. Connecting you to Grandfather Sky. To the Creator, God, Goddess, the Great Mystery, the Prime Creator, the Central Sun. You are the connection between heaven and earth. Noticing how much Grandmother Earth loves you and how much Grandfather Sky loves you and how much you love them. The Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and you, their Divine Child, creating the Holy Trinity right here on Earth. Taking in a nice, easy, deep breath in, and as you exhale, calling to your full spiritual team, your entire team, all those who work with you for your highest good, asking them to come close, your guides, guardians, angels, teachers, allies, nature spirits, power animals, totems, ancestors, and star beings. Your whole team. And asking those on your team who assist you with protection to please step forward and to create a circle of protection all the way around you, 360 degrees. In all frequencies, time and space, and dimensions. Allowing in only those energies that are meant for your highest good. and calling to your guardian angel to please step forward, to be your bouncer, to double check all energies coming through the circle of protection, that they are indeed for your highest good. Your guardian angel, the one who was there when you, your soul was conceived, has known you the longest and loves you the most. And if there's any energies that are less than for your highest good, to remove them, transmute them to love upon release. And if necessary, to have them escorted to a plane justly earned. And now we have an opportunity to ask our spiritual teams to assist us, to help us in anything that you have going on today or this evening, depending on where you're at, at Grand around Grandmother Earth. Nothing's too small or too large. 
to ask for help. And I'll give you a moment to do that. Thanking your spiritual team. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, coming back to the room in your home, back to Star Nations Academy and to our live stream. And we're set. We're ready to experience our day as the energy unfolds around us because we're grounded, centered, balanced, and protected. Yeah. It's good, it feels good. So we're going to, uh, when, you're, when you feel ready, you know, opening your eyes and stretching, let's see you all showed up while we were in meditation. Oh, Karen's here, yep, we said hi to Karen. Lisa's here. Good morning, Lisa. Yep, you brought your plants in, right? Leslie showed up too. Hello, Leslie. It's good to have you in the house. Jean's here too. Good morning, Jean. And one of my sisters, Christine, popped in too. Hello, Christine. Good to always have you here with me. And Michael came back. Good morning. She says, I was with you for most of the meditation. Oh, good. So glad you're here, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't easy. <laughs> oh, the more you do it, though, the, the, the smoother it gets, right? And um, you start to remember what it feels like to be balanced. You remember what it feels like to be centered. You know, it feels like what it feels like to take those big, deep breaths in, right? So you start to remember your bodies, all your bodies, um, re remember... And it's kind of like, it's almost like a, a chiropractic adjustment, sort of similar. You know how you, when you go into a chiropractor, um, they have you come in repeatedly for the first few months, right? A couple times a week. Because our, our physical body, um, in that manipulation, right, to get aligned, so the energy runs through you, um, without any obstruction, right? Um, your body is remembering how to be in that position, that alignment. And so you get to remember how to hold it for longer and longer periods of time, right? And so this kind of meditation is, is the exact same thing. Our physical body remembers, starts to remember what it feels like, and we crave it. We can feel it when we're out of out of alignment, when we're not grounded, when we're not centered, right? Yeah, and so we have tools to bring us back into that that uh, alignment. Yeah. Um, let's see. You're welcome, Jean. Yeah, Leslie's saying good morning. Good morning to you. And uh, Lisa's saying drumming prayers for all mothers. Yep. Oh, good. We're going to get to that in just a second, okay? Yay. All right. And uh, Jean says that that guy's energy is still keeping creeping in. My Merkaba starts going. Okay, your Merkaba cannot go in the wrong direction. That's, no, that can't happen. <laughs> if it did happen, you wouldn't be here, Jean. You wouldn't be in a physical body. That, that can't happen. 
Okay, we'll talk about that more in detail later. All right, okay, you, yeah, you can't do that. It doesn't happen that way. All right, so yes, I'm using these night one. Oh, good, excellent. Lynn says, thank you, you're welcome, Lynn. And Stephanie, you're very welcome. But we can have a different kind of conversation. In fact, um, maybe we can do this in the academy. We can walk, talk more about the Merkaba there. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Not by a long shot. All right. And so Leslie says, thank you so much, Nashi. That was wonderful. I've been getting constant reminders past five days to get back to this. Oh, good. I'm so glad you turned your attention to it. All right, so grab your drums. We're going to be drumming some prayers, okay? I'm going to grab mine. Got to check on Georgie. He's such a good boy. He's out there on the deck, laying in the sun. I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to have the back end of my drum toward the mic microphone and see if that makes any difference with the sound. All right. So um, what we've been doing on Wednesdays and Saturdays is um, drumming prayers, our own prayers, each other's prayers, and whether or not you have a drum, that's, that's okay. You don't need to have a drum to have a prayer drummed for you. And as the drummers are drumming, um, if you don't have a drum, there's a couple things you can do. You can you can be in a prayerful, um, yeah, you can be prayerful, you know, however that is for you, whether you're folding your hands or, you know, your hand over your heart. Um, I have drummed, um, taken my hand and to my to my chest, right, and drumming this way when I haven't had a drum. Some people use their thigh do the drumming that way. You can use a rattle too. If you have a rattle, you can use a rattle too. Okay. All right. All righty. So we're going to, I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to find Lisa's. Here it is. Lisa sent us a, um, one that she'd like to have prayer, uh, a prayer drum for all mothers on for Mother's Day. It's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. Good one, Lisa. We'll we'll do that. The first drumming will be uh, blessings, blessings for all mothers for Mother's Day. And when we say all mothers, we're talking about the entire world, right? The entire world. All the moms, all across Grandmother Earth. Okay. All right. And drummers, drummers at the ready. Um, what I do is I, I connect to um, one of my teachers, my spirit teachers, um, the drum mother, and she's the one who, who selects the drum beat for me. So you can do the same thing. You can tap into your spiritual team and ask them uh, for those that help you with drumming to step forward and to help you and uh, to select the, the drum beat that's for you. Okay. And so for those who haven't drummed with me um, this way, when we're nearing the end of that prayer, that drumming, you'll hear me go something like this. I do that like three times and then the fourth one is... Alrighty. Okay. Drummers, drummers at the ready. We're drumming a prayer for all moms, all mothers, all across Grandmother Earth for Mother's Day. Blessings to them. Okay. So here we go.
Thank you, Lisa, for that prayer. Um, as I was drumming, what uh, the word that kept coming, of course, was blessings, but um, was also gratitude. Gratitude, um, because most most moms um, are their children's first teacher, right? Um, and they're usually our major teacher. Um, sometimes the lessons are really fun and, and joyful and loving, and other lessons are not so joyful <laughs> and not so much fun. Um, but even so, even still, you know, um, they're doing it from a place of, um, from a soulful place where our souls were connected. We chose them to be our uh, physical moms, right? Our human moms. And so, uh, good one. Thank you, Lisa, for that. It felt good. All right. Um, all right, let's see. Karen, let's see what Karen has to say. She says, I'm dealing with new feelings today after saying goodbye to my son yesterday. So he and his platoon prepared for deployment. I won't see my baby for a year. My prayer is for strength for all our soldiers and their families as they find balance during times of separation. May we all offer our gratitude for their service. Oh my goodness, Karen. I wish I could hug you in person. Because <laughs> I come from a military family, so I know of what you speak. Um, and I think as a mom, I, I'm not a mom. I can only speak to what I saw my mom go through and what my sister-in-laws have gone through. When they watch their their child, no, how, no matter how old that child is, um, when you take them to take them in, you know, for their deployment, um, yeah, it's hard emotionally. It's so hard because you just love them. You want them to be safe, right? And I, there's probably a part of you, Karen, that wishes that you, he would have chosen a different a different path. But that's his life. He has to have those those experiences. So supporting uh, the prayer for the moms, for the parents um, who have a child of theirs in the service, away from home, away from them, possibly in a foreign land. Yeah. And finding that balance during that separation, that physical separation, because you're always connected, always. Uh, but it's that physicalness that we miss, right? Yeah. And to offer our gratitude for their service. Yeah. yeah. And of course, to keep them safe, right? To keep them safe. All right. So drummers, drumming Karen's prayer for her, her son, for all parents who are experiencing that, that physical separation from their child because their child is in the service. Yeah. All right. Here we go, drummers. Okay.
Thank you, Karen, for offering um, that prayer. Um, I also had to add it in there about, you know, keeping them safe, but, but more than just in their body, but in their mind and in their spirit as well, right? Because um, depending on where he's at and uh, what he's going to be experiencing is to keep him safe in all ways, right? Under all conditions. Um, yeah. And Georgie came in to help with the prayers. He's sitting at my feet. Um, and here, here's a little something, Karen, that I did with one of my nieces. Um, she was going to be, uh, and she has, she went through um, training at West Point. Um, she's been deployed several times. Um, I think she's in her sixth or seventh year. She's, she, she became a doctor. Uh, she is not a full-fledged doctor. She is a doctor's, uh, a physician's assistant. And um, yeah, so she's still a part of all of that. And uh, and so f from the time she, she enlisted to when she was being sent um, to her first uh, training, she was feeling, you know, already feeling the homesickness, right? And I remember standing in our driveway and I was, I was uh, had her in front of me. And it was uh, toward the end of the day, we we're watching the sunset. And I put my arms around her and I hugged her and told her I loved her. And that no matter where she was at, no matter where she was, anywhere around Grandmother Earth, that when she looks at a sunset, she can remember how much I love her. Right? And I was going to do the same thing. Anytime we, I'm getting all verklept. This happened like, what, almost a decade ago? Um, yeah. So, you know, our, that physical separation from them is, is difficult for sure. So blessings to you too, Karen, and thank you for the prayer. Okay. Yep. I do too. I do too, Deborah. She says, I love drumming. Me too. <laughs> Enjoying the drumming immensely. Good one. Michael says, voice got soft. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, well, we're going to talk more about that, Jean, I promise. Um, and Lisa's saying beautiful. Yeah, loves the drumming. So difficult, stay strong, yep. Strong in heart, right? Strong in heart. Lisa's saying to Karen that she loves her, hugs to you. Jean's sending out hugs to Karen. Bobby says healing strength to you, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, Karen. You're very welcome. So um, looking at the time, we have time for maybe one or two more prayers. So if you'd like to send uh, a prayer over through the comments, that would be great. Um, if not, I'm sure that we could probably uh, think of one more. I can think of one more, right? <laughs> I can do that really easily. Um, Yeah, um, the feeling I'm getting is is about um, the energy that we're in, you know, in this new new frequency that we find ourselves, this new vibration, is that um, so many people have a different kind of fear today than it was eight weeks ago or 10 weeks ago. Um, when we first started this experience with the virus, right? That was the earlier fear and panic was more around um, our physical health, right? Being concerned about our loved ones, especially if they're elderly. Um, and so there was a lot of fear and panic around that. And that shifted, and that has shifted over the time. The reason for the fear and panic. <laughs> so now, now it's more about um, some people losing their jobs because their employer is not reopening, could couldn't make it through those um, eight weeks or six weeks of no business, right? 
um, some people um, are concerned and fearful um, over losing possessions, you know, not being able to make payments, that kind of thing. Um, and so it's a different kind of fear. It's a different kind of panic, although it's all connected to um, our physicalness, right? Our physical world, our, our possessions, our belongings. And in that, even with the word belonging, some people are wondering, where do I belong now? Who am I if I don't have X, Y, or Z? So maybe if we do a, a drumming, a drumming around that, you know, um, a sending out a prayer that those that are feeling lost, feeling um, fear and panic, that angels send angels to them so that they can be calmer, right? That they could remember they do have more than their physicalness. <laughs> There's more to it, right? Yeah, that's that's a good one, Deborah. We can add that to it. She says prayers for all mentors, therapists, counselors, and those helping those struggling with mental health issues. Okay, we're going to do that one separately because I think that that's a good one. But um, I would like to do a drumming for all those that are feeling that fear and panic around their physical lives. Um, and sending them prayers and angels to help them through that peace so that they can find peace and that they can go through the adjustment, right? Because that's what it is. It's an adjustment. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do two more, this one, and then we're going to do Deborah's. All right. Okay. So here we go. Drummers at the ready. Okay, so this one is for everyone all around Grandmother Earth that is feeling lost and fear, panic around their physical life, their jobs, those kinds of things, all right? That, they, that angels be sent to them so that they can be calmer, to go through the, the adjustment time more peacefully gracefully. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do Deborah's prayers for all mentors, therapists, counselors, and those helping those struggling with mental health issues. Because isn't that another layer, right? Another layer of the adjustment and what we're, we're all going through as 
as he people, as a two legged, right? As we're going through this adjustment phase, this transition. Um, so prayers for the mentors, therapists, counselors, and all those helping others with uh, the mental health issues that um, either get folded into something or maybe even those that are kind of lost in the shuffle, you know? Mm. So prayers for support, support for those um, mentors, therapists, counselors, helping those with, with mental health issues. Okay, here we go. Drummers. Hmm. All right. Deborah for that prayer. Here goes. Yeah, and Michael saying peace and trust? Question mark. You know what? We're gonna go out on a on a um, happy happiness, joyful. Okay. Um, thank you, Michael. We're gonna use your peace and trust question mark um, to drum for ourselves, okay? And we're gonna drum for ourselves in the present tense that we already have peace, we already have trust and the happiness and joyfulness that goes with that, okay? Rather than trying, rather than reaching for it, we're drumming for the joy of having it. It's in our life right now, present time. Being thankful and great, grateful for the peace and trust we have in our lives right now. Okay. All right. Oh, Michael saying, um, sorry. She says that was to go with those in fear and loss. Okay. But I kind of like it though, you know, because um, our, our very last drumming is to drum for ourselves and gratitude and in joyfulness that we have peace and we have trust in our lives because it's there. We're not reaching for it. We're not trying. 
It's already here, okay? All right, so here we go, drummers. This one we're drumming for ourselves individually. Feeling the joy around being, having peace and trust in our lives, okay? Here we go. some joy. It's always good stuff, right? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I like that one. Thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're welcome, Jean. Okay. So thank you so much for being with me here today, doing the meditation because it's really important for all of us. Um, and also to drum prayers. It's always feels so good, doesn't it? So thank you so much for those that are in the live chat live with me and those that be watching this, um, the recorded version. Thank you too. Thank you too. Now enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We'll be back here tomorrow morning for the next round of grounding and centering meditation. And also joining me um, tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time for the spiritual round tables, the dream interpretation um, version of the spiritual round table. Let's see where that spiritual conversation will take us. Okay. All right. Enjoy your day. Bama Mina. That's Potawatomi for until we see each other again. Love you guys. <laughs>